Like, that sounds like fun. 100% success rate for Hazard Bomb. I took it once and I cleared with it and now I don't bother. Really? That's so funny. Okay. Um, we got to go EM4. I think we take this off. Well, I mean, we go. I don't know. Does someone want to give me give me a do a do a run command just so I can see what heat to go to go on? Otherwise, I'll just I just won't know what to do. Eighteen. Whew. Well, that's gonna be that's gonna be that's gonna feel right right easy compared to this. Good gracious! Good gracious! It's like a walk in the park. All right. Let's get to work. How delayed are updates patches on Switch compared to PC? I mean, Hunter Hunter McFly, I'm it, it's my understanding that the PC has had since launch it's had like four or five updates and Switch has gotten none of those. Zip. So they they are working on um save file sync sinking like they're they want to um they want save files to sync and they've been working on it for a while yeah exactly cross save um and so they're not they're not uh updating switch for that reason which is a real bummer because they fixed a lot of things that are very cool like 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 uh aphrodite on the haribo is so much fun it's so great and it's terrible it was terrible before I do have a Switch. I do have a Switch, and I do want to get this on the Switch someday. Um, but I'll probably wait till cross saves are are available. Okay. Fish. Most small places contract out ports. That's probably why it's delayed. Yeah, no, it's it's um, it's it's a lot of work. I I can't imagine. I mean, like I don't. I know very little about how um how all this works for uh you know for porting things. But it it seems like it seems like it would be very difficult to do that. We'll roll. Do all their stuff in-house. Yeah. Ugh. I just think so much at the rail. I'm always I'm always forgetting to reload. Doing those dumb dumb things, you know. I love the way this red this red beam looks amazing. Hey. Hot in her. Is it hot in her? Mm -hmm. Didn't even notice that it was hot in her. <laughs> hey y'all. How did duty? Enjoy everyone's pictures. Put my pictures on Discord. Yeah. I'd love to see any of your faces who want to share your faces and tell it, but it's okay if you don't want to. I understand. Yeah, it's. I'm always curious who I'm talking to. Like I'm like, okay, I think this is a male, mm. but are they 20? Are they? Piercing 20? fire. Oof. No way. Piercing fire seems pretty good. Just get doom on everything all the time. That seems good, right? Nice. Now I want the stack. I want dire, dire misfortune. Dire misfortune. You are not barrister. I'm older than dirt. <laughs> He's a genuine boomer. Genuine boomer here. Hyper like oh, sprint. Uh, Artemis aid. I don't know. I don't even know, man. <laughs> Type me this from a nursing home. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh. No, you're not. No one in a nursing home is good at that. Tickety tickety. That's she just not, went tick that's tick not tick tick. True, actually. Yeah, it's not true. Don't don't be like that. Ooh, could we get merciful end here? That'd be kind of cool. 
Is it hard to multitask with all your bingo cards? <laughs> uh, yeah. My brain's not tired. It's going too fast. Yeah. You thinking about that pig? That pig you want to get? That pig. It's only 40 pounds. I want a 40 pound pig. Do you, do you want, want another baby? I mean, too. is there a way? <laughs> Just like say nothing, say nothing. What's that? As I said, I want another baby too, and you completely ignored me. Yeah, I'm not gonna answer. Not gonna answer respond that to that. On stream. You're not gonna take. Not that gonna bait. respond to that bait. Like an hour after our children are falling and almost breaking their necks out of their beds. Then <laughs> to type poggers when appropriate. <laughs> I pay a young a man to type for me. <laughs> What's a pogger? <laughs> oh. That's what the nurses' aides are for, right? Oh no. I just can't seem to lift my finger off the trigger. What's it, a pog? Um, pog champ. Pog champ is. Like it's pogs a twitch. Those things we threw when we were kids. No. Those yeah, those no, that's, that's that's very that's very cute, but very no. 90s. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, pog pog champ is this symbol. Yeah, that's that's pog. That's Pog right there. So it's like... The guy's O face? Yeah. <laughs> the guy, it's not an O face. It's like a... Oh my god! Yeah. It's like the Ermager face. Who is that guy? Is that a famous person who made that face once and he got memed? Um, he... I think he was... I think he worked for Twitch. Yeah. Is Pog Champ not from someone actually playing Pog? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> is it? Maybe. Yeah, elementary school. In elementary, we were playing Pogs. We, we, little, no, we totally little, were. Like, well, some of you were. I wasn't. We had no Pogs. You had no Pogs because you were in Taiwan. And all you got were the missionary barrels. Are we all not the, the Pog the champs? barrels of hand-me-down clothes and VHSs from the churches. Yeah, that's right. That my, my grandparents would put a VHS tape in and start recording... Start recording the Disney Channel, and they would just send the one when the tape ran out. They packaged it up and mailed it to us. Whatever was on at that time. Are you serious? Yes, <laughs> I am serious. That's so sad. <laughs> no, it was great. We loved it. Oh, we loved every minute of that. It's kind of a long explanation, but PogChamp is somewhat about Pogs. Oh, it is. Well. I then I don't know much about. Well, by middle school I had discovered Magic the Gathering, and that was the end of it. Yeah. Oh, that's what MTG means. Huh. So you were born and bred nerd, right? Who me? No. The Magic the Gathering guy. Yeah. Sure. Or gal. <laughs> yeah. Or gal. Uh -huh. Indeed. Indeed. What is going on? Why are you why are you it's blowing on my neck? It's the wind. It's so windy We're indoors! Here. We're indoors! I know we are! You can't lie to me this time. I won't fall for it. Why am I craving a fellowship of the ring moving there? Because you haven't had one in like years. See you back home. Just as long as we don't have to watch the Hobbit. I woke up early on Saturday fun. morning for my dad to drive me to the Toys R Us for me to play in our local yes, league. That's nice. So cool. Oh, that's dad awesome. Is so sweet. <laughs> the Pokemon trading card game. See, you can't be that old if you played Pokemon as a kid. That, you're, Poke, that means, you that means outed yourself. You're, that means you're in your <laughs> 20s, not your 30s. No, that means, well, probably 30s. Not, certainly not 50s. Well, 30s, I mean... When I was in high school, I was it means you're of, in your forties, or it means you're in your twenties. When I when uh, I was like when I was in high school, I was laughing at the elementary kids that were playing Pokemon. So that makes me think Ferris. Skeptical Jesus, what a oh that stinks, man. That's what? that's annoying. My dad, my dad didn't want me to play Dungeons and Dragons because he thought Dungeons and Dragons was was satanic? satanic. I don't know if he even knew what Magic the Gathering was. I mean, neither did I. So. Was he also not okay with um, Might help. Dungeons and Dragons? I just said Dungeons and Dragons. Didn't you just say Magic the Gathering? 
I said he didn't know anything about Magic the Gathering, but Dungeons and Dragons was satanic for sure. Uh, I, I literally said that's why I paused and turned because. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't paying attention. It's fine. It's fine. No, wait. You never tried to read Harry Potter, did you? Don't play trading card games because the money suck. But I enjoyed it very much. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like most of the people that I talk to now who are into Pokemon, they do not. They do not play the trading card game. They just collect the Pokemon cards and talk about them and <laughs> admire them. Like that's literally. I, I like I ask kids regularly because they they're gonna, like yeah Pokemon is awesome blah 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 and I'm like ooh yeah you play they're like no <laughs> I don't play what are you dumb you big dumb adult stupid. Did your, did your school have Harry Potter? Your, my, did my school your have Harry Potter? School? No, I believe it got banned. <laughs> it got banned from the library at some point. So our, didn't our you school... Say your, didn't you say your mom brought you a Harry Potter book once, though? No, my dad... Someone told my me dad read them. said, like, hey, I heard about these Harry Potter books that are super awesome. And then later he was like, man, can't believe I recommended those Harry Potter books to you. There's, I, I hear now that they're satanic. It's like, but my, you know... My parents. There's a were contingent like, of the. Let's event. read about witches. <laughs> the, the the church. We'll buy you anything you read. <laughs> if Would you anyone read like it, to go to this Norse if, pagan festival with if me? If you'll read it, I'll buy it. My my parents. Very much enjoyed were, the Pokemon trading card game Renaissance. I brought to my dorm. Nice. By That's, the way, I that is pretty we cool. Are, we are in support of D and D and. Uh, yes, Harry I play D and D. In case that wasn't I, clear, I read Harry Potter. <laughs> I do not We're think not that they are. We're not total religious nuts. I do not think that they are demonic. I might have to switch religions if my faith insisted that my children could not grow up reading Harry Potter. <laughs> it would be traumatizing. I would think I've Yu -Gi -Oh. gone with the wrong yeah. club. I watched. I watched some kids play Yu-Gi-Oh. And I used to work in a treatment facility for teenagers, and there were some kids who were super, super, super into Yu-Gi-Oh. He means he was in the treatment facility for teenagers. <laughs> I was one of the teenagers. <laughs> yeah, working. I was work. I was no, a you worker were actually working. there. That was a terrible paid job. I was not. What were you making, like? Well, like, I think, I think, uh, Well, it was bad after, for the fact that you had a four-year degree and after, you were making, like, after $10 being, an hour After being promoted... Multiple promotions you made like eleven dollars an hour. <laughs> twelve fifty an hour. <laughs> to get punched in the face by get schizophrenic teens. I remember when I told my grandma that I played D and D, and the look of concern was palpable. <laughs> oh gosh, isn't that it? I think that has Funny. been the case since the game came out. We sold way more cards back in the day than we ever had players when we held open play or events. JP DMs a D and D stream went. Oh man, I'd love to. I so here's the That'd thing. Be fun. So long as I didn't have to manage the the math and the mechanics and all that garbage, if I could just tell you like, oh, you got a critical fail, let me go look at my list of options. Like, because to me, what's interesting about what's interesting about Dungeons and Dragons is how punishing mistakes are and how you know like. Like, I was always, like, disappointed. Like, one time, one time when I was playing, like, it wasn't, it was, uh, not Dungeons and Dragons, it was, um, <laughs> it was <laughs> boring. Uh, it was Pathfinder. But, like, at one point, like, I died, but there was, like, there was a cultist or some, some weird class in our party, and, and he was like, you know, I can reincarnate you if you want. But I have to choose a different body. And so I was reincarnated into a... I was male and I became a female. I was a male dwarf who became a female elf. And that was like the best moment of the whole thing. It was so good. I'd rather play, but don't tell me DMing for that foursome would be... <laughs> Whoa. Chat is chat going... Oh, I see. Ah, I see. Wouldn't be awesome. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I... <laughs> I don't, I'm not, I wouldn't say that I'm good at DMing, but I would, I would really enjoy it. I would really enjoy it. Making people suffer. Or like, you know, like you, you have a critical fail and you're using like this giant blade. Like, I'm going to make you slice off like a toe or something, right? Like, that's going to happen. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's do it. It sounds like a pretty big time commitment, though. I don't have a lot of time. Uh, you people suffer, suffer means JP is a true DM. Uh, dying lament. All right, it's not it's not personal. She's got a worse she's got a worse curse. All right, like getting getting charmed in the middle of a big fight is really bad. It's real bad. Whereas you're like, you know, your fast moving circles that almost never shoot at me are not so worrisome somehow. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I gotta do something. I gotta do something here. I have yet to get... This is the one achievement that I don't have. Can I do this? This is very important. It's very important that I get maxed out... That I get maxed out... Um, why am I not taking damage in this lava? There we go. I need to get a maxed out thing so that I can use her maxed out call. That's what I gotta do. And I, and I gotta do it. I guess I have to lose. I probably have to lose a death defiance, right? Like, it's very hard to get enough to do this. You will burn two DDs. Yeah, I, I will, and that's fine. That's fine. It's important. It's very. It's very important. I have a song request in the garage by Weezer. In the garage. Sure, I don't see why not. Yeah. Yeah. After all this talk about we got D &D it. And Bad call. Exactly. Yes, it turns out you, you want me to sing that? Or do you not know it well enough? No, I can sing that one. No, it's fine. You going to bed? Yeah. I'm going Good to bed. night. I'm tired. Well, I'm going to read. see you later. If I'm still reading and I hear you singing, I might run out, but probably not. <laughs> Everyone needs a break from work, even if it's your second job. <laughs> it's a good. It should be a good one. It should be a good tune. Uh, Hunter's Mark, I guess. My sense is dropping. I don't know. Hunter's Mark is probably the wrong choice. I think I think we're going to be all right. I don't, I'm not too worried about this run. Lucifer do yeah with dire misfortune I think we're getting some fairly sizable sizable numbers I'll have to like see like when we hold when we just like unload an entire clip into into learning what what is the number right what's the number that comes up 161 149 hold on hold on 197 that's it That's not that impressive. I was hoping for a real big number. Is it not applying a stack with each tick? I, I don't think it can be. Oh, we probably need to get, we probably need to get that other one, don't we? That other, that other boon that makes our doom even, even mo better. Oh my goodness, those, those blue guys, hmm. okay, I need to be a little bit more careful here. Here we go, boldly. Nowhere to hide from me. You're welcome, Barrister. You are very welcome. Much better. Shawnee! Awesome! I'm glad you're here too. Be welcome, friend. Um Broken spear point, or I think we probably go acorn, so we don't die. Hey, kiss of sticks, we're all right. We're okay. I don't use my summon very often. It's true. It's, it's I forget all the time. <laughs> Basically, the players were out to to stop Ragnarok, and upon realizing that they couldn't, 
They did what they could to change the terms and conditions of it. I missed the context for that one. Just got Hades. Do you get this after your first escape? Get what? The weapon I'm using? No. I'm, a, I'm sorry to say, Brownie Senpai, that this, or Senpa, that, that this weapon, it may be a while before, you're, before you see this weapon. But it's worth the wait! It's so worth the wait, it's a fun one. It's a fun, it's a fun weapon. Glorious. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, infinite chamber. Yes. Yes, yes. Someone took Brownie Senpai, but okay, got it. <laughs> got it. Was talking to Goblin for quite about a Norse themed campaign I ran in university. Awesome. That's cool. Yeah, I had a really, I had a great, um, I had a really great Pathfinder group, and I get it's still a great Pathfinder group. I would still, I would still play oh, Merciful End, very cool. Um, but hey, thanks. 130 times five. You know what? It it takes a while. It just takes a while. It does. <laughs> it sure does, Cole. Um. Um, but yeah, so we had a, had a great group and it was fun, but then, but then we started doing online and that was fine for a while until we started noticing that like one of the players was also playing Apex Legend all the time while we were in the middle of the campaign and like while things were happening and we were all like, uh, and he took forever to do his turn. And like, it was a, it was a, it was kind of a bummer. We were all kind of like, oh, <laughs> and we didn't want to play with him anymore. But then, get that death defiance, baby. Oh come on! I just bought a death defiance. <sighs> or I just rolled for a death defiance, I should say. Mm -hmm. Kids, this is why. Yeah, you'll you'll get ways to do it. You just keep talking to people. Talk to everyone. Don't don't um don't ignore Thanks a lot. when someone wants to talk to you cuz it will it will be important. Oh no you don't. Oh no you don't. Won't catch this soul, thanks. No. Impending doom. Hey, super. Hey, five. Five of them. Super fluxus. That is super. It's super generous of you, super fluxus, to do that. Talk to everybody usually trying to be sparing with my nectar currently. Yeah, um, I guess if you're <clears throat> nect, I don't know if it's necessarily tied to nectar getting the weapons. It is tied to nectar getting the summons, um, the summon companions. Those are those are um, tied to the nectar. But Superfluxus, holy cow. Thank you very, very much. Lady Athena. Very, very generous. Deadly reversal? All right. I mean, okay. Yeah, we probably should do this. I don't think we're gonna die. I hope, <laughs> I hope we're not gonna die. Haha. <laughs> 
Hey, Barrister, thanks for the second gifted sub, dude. What's going on? Damnable fools. <laughs> Appreciate that. Super Fluxus gets, gets a sub. Nice. <laughs> uh, oh, I got it. Okay. It's it's tough to get uh, it's tough to get those those companions. They take a long time. Okay, this is this is kind of a cool little build we got going on here. We're like dashing around, putting putting merciful end on people, dashing through them. I really do feel like Darth Vader right now. Whoa, Colt! Thank you. Holy moly, roly poly. <laughs> I appreciate that, fellas. Not yet. That is super, super generous. And the, and the 69 bits. Good gracious. <laughs> uh, what fun. What fun we've had this evening. <laughs> this has been great. So I was off on the phone would have said it earlier. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's all good. Sometimes sometimes you're on the phone, you know? Sometimes you're on the phone. Like now I'm like I'm basically just slicing people with my lightsaber, right? Like we're no longer at the point where this is resembling a gun in any way. It's a sword. And it's a doom sword. And it's a doom sword. That is merciful. <laughs> or something. I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh, 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 glorious. It's been a 23 sub stream. I know, it's been a good... A good stream in that way. And many other ways, too. Thank you all for being here. <laughs> Colt. Well, we love having you in this community, man. Help keep me going. Be, be welcome. Ooyag! <laughs> Ooyag, giving it to Strike Ninja. Nice, Strike Ninja. How are you doing, man? Been a while. Alright. Look at that damage. Whoa! Mike Durbin. Mike Durbin with the gifted sub as well. Good heavens. Thank you so much. This build is legit. It's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. Merciful end. Merciful end. Turns out. Pretty strong. You know what? I'm feeling like living dangerously a little bit. Did you guys know, how many of you all knew, that you used to be able to just, every time you'd find a Death Defiance, either in a shop or, or a well or Athena, you would just get another one? So you could get like six or seven Death Defiances in one run? Ridiculous hat! <laughs> Thank you so much for the sub, Ridiculous Hat. I appreciate that very much. Look at that 11. The, the number 11 is by Zagreus' head. What is going on? What is going on? And we just completed level 3. <laughs> Thanks so much. You friends. You fine people. <laughs> Ridiculous hat. If you if you all don't know. Strike Ninja now with the gifted sub. It's like a it's like a it's like a stack or a row of dominoes all falling over. Um, if y'all don't know, Ridiculous Hat runs a podcast about Hades called um, Hidden Aspects, and you should all go check it out and subscribe to it on wherever it is, wherever you listen to your podcast, Stitcher, Stitcher or wherever. 
I personally use an app called Overdrive. Um, but it's not, <laughs> last I checked, it wasn't available on Overdrive. But if you use the other ones, you should totally go find it. Or you can listen to it online. Apple Music is probably one of the better ones, places to do it. All aboard the Hive Train. Level four. Good, good gracious. Good gracious. People are feeling generous tonight, and it's super, super generous. Uh, and, and they're feeling super generous, and they're being super generous. <laughs> well, of course. I mean, I, so I, I had a great time. I'd never been on a podcast before. It, I felt very special to be on someone's podcast. He interviewed me, and it was like, it was, it was, it was super cool. And then I got to, like, listen to my awkward voice rambling, <laughs> rambling on and on. It was really something else. Woo! Holy moly, roly poly. Woo, woo. Oh, there we go. Now we're now we're getting the big numbers. Well, I mean, big-ish. It's 507. Yeah, 507's... It's not bad. Ra Raelios? You too? It too, Raelios? With the gifted sub? Thank you so much. Very generous. Folks, it's real generous. Today... <laughs> yeah, go yeah, get on that get on that podcast. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Ooh, support fire. That's something fun. Okay. Super fluxus. Didn't you just Like didn't you literally just do a whole bunch? <laughs> I mean I mean good heavens. Thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. And like my internet, I think you broke my internet. <laughs> <laughs> you broke my internet with your uh, with your generosity, because now we're suddenly in the red. I'm gonna have to turn down my bitrate, which is weird. I don't know why why this would happen, but it's totally it's totally happened. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Oh wait, not twenty five, not twenty five thousand, but two hundred and two twenty five hundred. Apply. Okay, should be better now. Ah. Oh. You people, you people. And I love that, I just love that sound. I just love that sound so much. A little, little, little ditty. <laughs> it's a banner night. It is, it is at that. So much fun. It was a huge gift. Very, very generous. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Thirty-five percent of those watching so far have sub. That's crazy. That's a crazy number. Well, I I really appreciate it, Superfluxus. It it uh, it helps out a lot. I right now our expenses for the the stream aren't terribly high, but I am I am gonna buy. Not that this this doesn't impact the stream per se. Um, I I am going to buy an RTX 3070 when they're finally available because I want to play some more graphically intensive games. So that's one thing that it's going towards. I I've invested a lot in the stream already, um, and you know, but I just all all the support is is great and helps me. Helps me make make more more cool stuff. Hopefully, that's the that's the goal. Um, yeah. Lately, I've been working on some some videos, some like uh, like ranking videos. But I don't know. Like I've had some like some like mental health like depression concerns lately. And but this stream has really helped out. Not not not. I mean, the money has been great, but like. Just, just you find people. You know, it's fun to hang out with you and to feel super supported. In what I, what I've been doing, and I don't know, it's really special. A lot of you who, who you know, you've been creators before. You've done, done things like when you get, when there are people that appreciate what you do. It's like, it's really special. It feels great. 
Yeah, it's been it has been a, a rough year in so many ways. Mm. Uh, let's see. I don't think we want any of that. Yeah, I'll take pressure points. Best part of content right now is the social aspect during a hard year and the beginning of a long winter. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Goblin, for coin. Appreciate that. Yes, I agree. I, I mean, honestly, like I would feel I would feel incredibly, incredibly lonely right now if it weren't for if it weren't for this community. It's awesome. It's really cool. You've been struggling lately, too. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just been a rough year for for everyone. Yeah, it's cool. It's just cool to see. It's like. It's like going to a bar, except it's not a bar. It's like, uh, you know, we're all we're all enjoying a, a certain aspect of culture that's fun, and I don't know. Yeah, it's just it's pretty cool. Egyptian fro, <laughs> Egyptian fro, welcome. How's it going? I'm glad you got a. I'm glad you got a free sub. Folks were going crazy earlier. I mean, my goodness, there was some, there were some people throwing, throwing money around like it was going out of style. All right, sweet. We got pressure points. We got marked target. I think we got all the tools that we need to kill Hades. It's a bar, but it's also the set of cheers. Exactly. But it's also the community and Parks and Rec and the office. <laughs> Except we don't have to work together. I mean, that's good. I appreciate I appreciate that we don't have to deal with, like... You know what I mean? Like, that, that ruins friendships sometimes when you're, like, dealing with, you know, that kind of stuff. Merciful and laser beams. Exactly. This is... Okay, so apparently I, I found out... I found out from someone that I... This was my 666th run, and so we thought, well, you have to do Lucifer Rail, and you have to do Doom, and it just so happened that we got that, and then we got Doom on our attack, and then we got um, Infinite Infinity Chambers, so we basically are Darth Vader right now. We are basically Darth Vader, <laughs> and it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. We are doing some very nice damage. It's <laughs> look at the look at his health. Are you look at his health right now. That is that is very very special. I mean, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. It's a thing of beauty. Ooh, the backswing. Not yet persuaded to go back, I see. No more. I wonder if there's something something wrong. Like, is there a glitch going on right now? Because we are getting thousands of damage, like every every second. Like is this is this yeah it's a magnifying glance it, that's that is a great way of, of putting it that is kind of what's happening here we just like tanked we just tanked his lasers with our own laser turns out our laser beat his laser uh-oh Summon, summon pots. Please summon pots. Oh, yeah, try to heal yourself. That's great, too. Nice. <laughs> yeah. That was, a, that was a nice little finale to the 666th. <laughs> yeah, it's... Ter Germ, it's very much like, yeah, burning burning the ants with the, with the microscope. Or mic the... Not the microscope. 
did it. Micro magnifying glass. Wow. I really got really got caught up in there. Couldn't get the word out. Oh, fun. Fun stuff. This game is so I ah, it's so much fun to play. It's dark, all right. So much fun to mess around. Mm. There are a myriad of tales to be told of both great deeds and of inglorious <laughs> deeds. Yeah, thanks for pointing out that it was my 666th. I don't Somewhere in the middle overall. Yeah, Scotty Too Hotty, I think this is a YouTuber. This is a YouTube video. <laughs> I think people would enjoy this one. I mean that that final fight was a lot of fun to see the see that damage come come rolling out. You want to talk to me? to go now, Sacrius. But I shall see you just as soon as I return. Mom, don't go. What else can we do to contain you, I wonder? Oh, is that DLC? 